where you will just be stuck in there for the better duration of the match. For sure. And Goichi definitely has proven that he's totally comfortable in that situation. But That's I mean, the scary thing. And the other thing we got to talk about pockets, though, is like, of course, for as dominant as Goichi was in this game for the first, it felt like two or three, three, four months even, he hasn't had the, the best performances recently, right? Versus I was fighting a, took I, a hard L. Again, CEO took hard Ls. I was, I was nervous. To, I was, I didn't want to say it because I hate counting them people out too early, especially after a dominant opening year he's had. Yeah. But you're right. He definitely might have gotten figured out a little bit, or he might have lost a little bit of step. Uh, my friend Reynolds definitely says the boy's playing scared now. For sure, and especially, you know, I think it's it's, it's got to be troubling a little bit at least if you if you're that dominant, if you start out that dominant in the game, and we're now what a month into the tech, to the Dragon Ball World Tour, and he still doesn't have a Dragon Ball yet. Yeah. And he was definitely one of the people that everybody thought was going to get the, the first yeah, one. Yeah, would, would easily take the first one, right? So you have to imagine this Evo tournament for Goichi is trying to, be, trying to make a big statement once again. I think so. Right off the bat, Goichi going to put this Gotenks to the wall. Oh, the what a again, reflect. Fighting with his back to the wall, able to put that spin on him. And I think Tasty the, Taz the Tyrant is probably going to make this one a little difficult. He's definitely going to spin on him. Goatings play this. Hit that stuff. Mm. Holding one ghost. Oh, what a tag. I like that he held the last ghost to be able to try to extend his block. Mm -hmm. There's pressure there. Goichi unfortunately finds the hit. Able to side switch. All right, get the slide knockdown. There it is. Get a breather. Delayed wake up into low L. Just, oh, he can't do that against Goichi. He is pacing. He's patient and it just he knows to look for that in that situation, right? Yeah. He senses the nervousness, he sees the life differentials. You have a lot of blue light built up on that character, I know you're looking for a tag. <laughs> oh man, Taya Taz the Tyrant is just not letting him get away with this at all. Super Dash works out there. Gonna burn the meter on the banish here. Spin him back to midstream. Oh, unable to convert off the cell assist, but that Gotenks now not looking too healthy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, this is a fast-paced one right here. Late tag. Gets the hit on Kid Boo here. And you, you, sometimes you expect to reach the mall, but he will definitely wait you out a lot of the time, you know? He is totally happy just feeling you out he in the match with you. He can Ooh. find comfort. He can find comfort and just, again, just block and just be patient. Definitely. That, right? Which I, a lot of people cannot do in this game. That's but. what I'm saying, man. A lot of people get spooked because it's like, man, I, if he's comfortable with me, me putting him on defense, I don't really feel that confidence with putting him on defense. <laughs> wow, that go, that donut assist holding you in the air all day. Right that down him to check out the Dragon Rush start up like that. Oh, Justin no. <laughs> I think he thought he saw a button coming. Oh, okay, there's a chance. Get that pressure, baby. Oh my god, that's gonna be it for Gotenks. And I like Taz the Tyrant trying to, you know, put at least a different option out there on, de on defense, right? You're gonna use a level 3 reversal like that. Yes, but that sir. was very expensive, and you see it put him in a position where now, even if he gets it, he's not gonna be able to do a lot of damage. You gotta be able to kill characters in this game. That was a pretty expensive mistake. Okay. Here's Taz the Tyrant possibly with a response. Whoa. Good defense on the first two. But yeah, it gets clipped high with the last hit. No finish from Taz the Tyrant, though. Okay, I like to reflect right. down him. Here right. you go. Oh, you're going to get him back in here. And now Snapping not looking too up. bad. Not looking too bad yeah, at all. Move this too help, but you got to get the touch. you got to be able to remove it. Oh, my God. And that's God. not how you're going to do it. How? That's definitely not how you're going to do it. Vanishing that high, that's oh not safe. Oh, my God. And now we're seeing Goichi play aggressive here. This is the part that makes it extremely scary. It's the part where he just turns the defensive mode off and goes straight offensive, and you just you get clipped once, and that's a wrap. This game very unforgiving, and Goichi a very unforgiving player. Do, do not give him multiple opportunities. Did not do that. You're right, man. And now Taz the Tyrant is feeling it, where he's got a sell out there, but he got he's a lone man. He's a man. The man is an island. He's got no assists. And while level three sparking is available, and he's got four bars. Yeah, he has bars. He, he can erase his character with, with a touch under the right condition, but. But look at that hesitation. It's a, and then, yeah, it's against the full team is the other thing. Yeah. Oh so my important God. In this game. Oh, hold on. When you had all the resources and you get clipped by the guy with almost zero. Off the two M starter, level one, level one, that's the do it. But you had the world in your hands. Yeah. 
and he just snatched it from you with a dot with some change in his pocket, you know? That's the thing, man. Like you said it before, confidence, right? Mm -hmm. Confidence in defense. If he gets the touch, he has the decision making. He's confident in he has very good confidence in his decision making and combo ability. Supreme confidence. Yeah. And you can see Taz the Tyrant has just, I won't say he lost his confidence, but he's definitely being forced to guess now, and that just will automatically make you, and you can't control it. Yeah. And then Sem on the top rope drops that bow on him. We got the plate loops in the corner, rocking and rolling. Oh Level my god. One. Wow, Sem. He stroke you. Sell with the alley oop to himself. <laughs> Making man, a state, that's how you make a state that is, that is a huge game, right? That quick activation on Sparking just to be able to kill their point character immediately, that's never a good feeling. No, and that's, it's as important for Goichi to make that statement as anyone else in this tournament. And you see him give up a little bit of damage on that side switch there, just to be able to take the wall once again. It's totally it. worth it. Yes, to be able to get this set up right here. Oh my god. Off the low now. Had to hold it. And the juggle. Why does that ground bounce, man? I'm telling you, dude, there's definitely some top percent stuff going on with this bar dog. That brother be spinning. He's like, yo, man, we had to give you these reparations for killing, getting killed by Frieza. Have a top tier status, you know? <laughs> they did all kind of messed up stuff to him, man. They killed him, then they sent him through time. Sent him through time, they're like, oh, it's not canon. But hey, what are you talking about, it's not canon? I'm a Super Saiyan now. <laughs> Look at Goichi, yeah. actually slowing it down, giving him a trying to look, again, bait and reflect, maybe look for that. Give him the 2 m punish. Oh my oh god, my god the fuzzies. fuzzies! Oh my god! Just the stand punish, easy peasy stand punish here. And you gotta know Taz the Tyrant was thinking, he ain't gonna hit him button here, I got so much advantage. That brother will press. Yes. And again, level 2 knockdown in the corner. Can you Call see him. it though? Colin Lex. I'm we were it's both perfect wrong. attack, yeah, for sure. Perfect attack is kind of the equalizer in that situation, especially if you delay with an air dash. Uh, Off the cell assist now. That is rough, man. He's losing all of his sparking here. Yeah. He's going to all have this damage is going to stick and the knockdown. Yeah. He does have two bars at. Yeah, just oh, a, oh, just one, about, just one ball, almost two bars, but he's just demoralized, man. Like, what do you do? Yeah, so last time he showed Ace, per Ace Perfect Attack wake up, that time off for the Reflect. Unfortunately, Goichi was ready for it. That's level one, level it. one, that's it. Goichi moving on winner's side. I mean, there's no shame in it whatsoever, Obama, yeah. but at the same time, I'm like, dude, like, you gotta think he's gotta go into his met next match thing. I got cooked by Goichi. Yeah, sure, it's Goichi, but the mental damage is done. But he, he I, I don't... I don't even know that you can feel that mentally defeated after that. that that's go each. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's, definitely, it's definitely nothing to be ashamed of, but it's also like, like, dang, man. South Sonic Fox parking up afterwards. You got to expect we're, we're going to be looking for the. I mean, I'm looking for those you know? two on Sunday for sure. We've seen it a good bit this year already, but on this kind of stage, it's, it's it feels a little bit different, man. I'm telling you, we're hey, looking for that's it. That's when people pull out all the stops there. You know, that's when, like, everything just happens and it, those stuff that they didn't pull off in the middle of their first to 100s that comes to shine. <laughs> Yeah, so once again, guys, we're going to take a quick commercial break and hear from some of the sponsors here at EVO 2018. Don't go anywhere. we got another Sonic Fox match coming up right next, right after this. ゲームが一番この人と対戦してるなっていうふうに思えるゲーム。ゲームで飯を食うってすごい幸せなことなんですよ。もし自分の世代でこれがもうなくなってしまったら、すごいかわいそうなことだと思うんで。どうやったらこれを長くできるのかとかそういう違い考えてやってんじゃないのかなと思います。